guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's a review of what rwanda air i'm going to be sharing my own experience on flying rwanda air all the way from nigeria to the united kingdom let me put out this disclaimer this video is not sponsored okay but i don't mind okay i don't mind if it's gonna be sponsored by you know rwanda air or any other <laughs> So this video is not sponsored. This is just me sharing my own experience because I feel that it's going to be helpful based on the amount of questions I've gotten since I posted the video where I said we flew Rwanda Air all the way from Nigeria to the United Kingdom. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you to go check it out. So in case you want to see what it looks like inside Rwanda Air and all that stuff, the food, the share, everything, you can go and check out that video. It will be what's right there in the description of this video. Okay, let's go straight into today's video. Before I booked for Rwanda Air, when I was doing my research, I didn't really see much review about um, flying Rwanda Air from Nigeria to the UK. So I decided that after my own experience, I was going to share to help anyone in future who is going to be flying rwanda air and just needs like you know one or two information now another thing i'm going to state is that please always ensure that you go back and follow up on the company like always make sure you send emails and call because these informations tend to change i don't work for rwanda air this is just me sharing my own experience now the first thing i'm going to say about rwanda air is that it was relatively very affordable yes so it was really affordable flying it all the way from nigeria to the uk so that was one of the reasons i chose Rwanda air okay yes the affordability it was okay compared to the other airlines at that particular time it was affordable i don't know what the recent price is so you have to do your own research and go and check that out now, the other reason I flew Rwanda A was the no transit visa. I don't know what the recent law is. So like I said, you have to go back and check. Yes, it wasn't going to require you to have a transit visa. Now, that's being said. So now, those were the two main reasons I chose Rwanda A. Okay, so now, what was the experience like flying Rwanda A? I'm going to say that so far, the customer service was really good from the inception because we had to send emails to inquire with regards the yellow fever with regards the number of bags although i'm going to say that they really need to work on that aspect because i really did not know how many there was like contradicting information with regards the number of bags we were supposed to have some said three some said two so it was actually very contradicting and we just had to stick to two bags per passenger but um i would suggest that they work on that because that was one thing that i wasn't really sure of with regards the number of luggages we had to take so i didn't want to take the chances i just had to stick to the minimum so yes call and find out the customer service was actually good they respond to you listen to you and then send emails they responded to their emails also that being said in the plane they were also really very friendly very attentive and of course the food too was also good okay this is not your house okay so you know you have to take into consideration that you're not at home so yeah for a flight the food was okay it was good and i would suggest that if you're a nigerian if you're african and you've been asked um i think they say chicken potatoes or chicken and fish i can't really remember right now but just tell them rice okay <laughs> that's what i did just to avoid any as in stories that touch, you know, food that you don't know what you're eating. So to avoid all those, to avoid taking something that you don't really know the name, just say rice and they'll give you rice. And the rice was good. Trust me, they're going to feed you. They're going to feed you, give you food at different points, give you bread, enough bread, my people. So yeah, there's enough snacks for the kids. The toilet facilities is also okay. So, so far, so good. I'm going to say that my experience with Rwanda Air was good, okay? Yeah, it was good. Their services um, from the Nigerian airport all the way to the various stops and down to the UK was good. It was okay. I wouldn't, as in, will I fly it again another time? Yes, despite the fact that the only disadvantage is just the long distance. So if you don't want to experience the long distance, then you know you can fly shorter flights, okay? But 
definitely if you're trying to save cost then rwanda air is not a bad option at all if you're enjoying this video so far kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you have had any experience with rwanda air let me know what your experience like did you fly rwanda air coming down to the uk or to any other part of the world i would love to know in the comment section with regards to the cons i'm going to say that it's a long flight like get prepared like it's a long long flight especially traveling with kids it's a long flight like you get tired of sitting down you try to find ways to entertain your kids i'm going to talk about ways that you can get your kids entertained when traveling if you want to see that video let me know in the comment section below okay ways that you can prepare and get ready when traveling with kids because it's a long flight and you need to be prepared so yeah those are that's one of the things for me the long 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 flight like it's a long flight like you're going back and coming to the uk if you understand what i'm trying to say so yeah that's just it and also i've already talked about earlier the fact about the bags the luggages yeah they need to really get that really clear like how many luggages are you entitled to so yeah that's just it for me i'm also going to talk about the um layover like when you have that layover ensure you have dollars with you and sure you have dollar or dollar card or something because for me i had pounds on me and if you have pounds only on you it could be really stressful for you to be able to like buy water because water was really the like everybody needed water when we stopped and came down from that flight the layover everybody was trying to buy water so um i don't know if they can do anything about that maybe find a way to provide water for people immediately they stop down at rwanda air but just try and have dollars with you like have your dollar card have some dollars don't change everything to count if you're coming to the uk if you have some dollars with you then you're good to go although there is a place you can also change your pounds to dollars but that night when we stopped in fact it was really very it wasn't really easy like we had to keep going around trying to change um pounds to dollars just to be able to buy water so yes those are the um, cons i would say i experienced using rwanda air but so far generally every other thing was smooth yes i hope you've enjoyed watching this video so far let me know if you have any other questions and i'll do my best to answer them thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you again in my next one until then stay fabulous and stay blessed love you and god bless you bye